Hello everyone, I am Kudapo. We are back at this game. Yep, my door is open. So, I don't, we're gonna try this game again on normal mode. I don't think I'm gonna do it, but we're gonna win it, but we'll try it anyway. If I don't make it, I'll go back on to easy. You know how it is. So, we'll be going with Yukari Yakumo with the name. Let's go. How are you guys today's going today? Happy... Friday. Do anything fun? Anything cool? Let me know. I'm always curious. Now then. Will we make it? Who knows? Kisume. Will we make it? Let's find out. First up is, um, what was her name? Yamane? Yamame? I don't remember, it's a spider girl. Why did I have to come down to such a soaking wet place? Reimu, can you hear me? Huh? And now I'm hearing things. I mean, so we can talk through your yin yang orbs. So I can make sure you don't slack off. As if. First of all, you sent me into this cave, which is no place to loaf around. Oh? A human? How unusual. Yamame, yeah, got it right. Bright night. The bright net in the dark cave. Yamame yeah, Kudo Dani. Did you come to play underground? They're having big feasts down there now. They won't turn away anyone, so go but have fun. Reimu. That's an enemy, Reimu. Defeat her. Is it really? Oh, what a warm welcome. I don't really know if she's an enemy or not, but I guess the usual thing would be to beat her. Hey, you sell talking human, you're looking for the power of the yokai who got banished down here, right? But did I skip a thing? Anyway. Trap sign, capture web. I think I got a life point. My asthma sign filled my asthma. There we go. Do I talk to myself that much? Are you getting tired? Of course I'm getting tired, it's not like I want to be down here anyway. Time for... Parsi. Let's roll. There! Done! To 
Just how far did this all go? You're almost there. You should reach the former capital soon. Oh? Are you a human? What does a human want in the former capital? Former capital? Are you coming to look for a cursed power? The jealousy beneath the Earth's crust. Parsi Mizuhashi. The name move. All the kind of ground of fearsome de detestable powers. Just be here while you're passing on by. I can never tell what you're still going to say next. I just wanted to relax in some hot spring. I think you tricked me, Yukai. <laughs> I'm not tricking anyone. I'm jealous of the light above ground. I'm jealous of the gentle breezes. I don't have anything against you, but I can make up a lot of reasons to attack you. That's nice. Anyway. Grandpa Hanasaka. Hanasaka. Jealousy of the kind and loving. And lovely. It's not exactly the best of ideas to talk in this one. Oh. I can't get that heart piece. There! Malice sign, shrine visited in the dead of night. What was her problem? She's a yokai of jealousy binding this world to the next through her regrets. This world and the next? Aren't there too many people who can go back and forth between two Reaper's ghosts and that's just because human death has a bewitching effect on yokai. Let's do this, Yugi! I'm gonna need to be very careful on this level. On this one. The snowy forgotten former capital, the streets of a former hell. How is it snowing? I guess moisture doesn't really have anywhere to go up to, but... I wasn't paying attention. There you are. I need to be careful of her! Hey, you're pretty good! Don't know who you are, but they say a rowdy welcome is best for a rowdy guest. Only sign. Anomalies, strength, disorder, and dis strength, disorder, and spirits. I like you. We'll have lots more fun. So keep falling until you can't take anymore. I don't want to go drinking with you. Jeez, quit wandering in front of me, you're in the way. Oh, you're so cold, and people from above ground almost never come down here. But they move, don't, why don't we listen to what she has to say? I don't even know what you're down here for. What are you after something, something right, Yukari? Just whose tail are you after, anyway? The spoken of unexplainable phenomena. Yugi Hoshiguma. I don't know. Oh, are you lost? How'd you wander all the way down here? You wandered to some hole that opened up? Wait, I was forced to come down here. Hmm? I promised not to let any yoke from above down here. And then you all build a giant, great city underground. But in return, I believe you promised to make sure that evil spirits underground remain pacified. Yeah, we have a deal like that, but who are you if you know about that? And yet the evil spirits started pouring out when the guys erupted. That's not what you promised, is it? Eh? The pouring out? The evil spirits? Well, I can't think of many people who've left the former capital to go above ground. I only know of one, but she's... 
She's got nothing to do with this, I'm sure. Can you remember any other times? Mm, let's see. Guys, it probably means it's the Palace of the Earth Spirits. Stop leading the conversation by yourself. What's the Palace of the Earth Spirits? Can we go there? You came here because of the Oka and that Jewel told you to, right? Yep, you got it right on. The Palace of the Earth Spirits is a building right in the middle of what used to be hell here. A bunch of stuck-up folks live there. Hmm, I guess we should go over there then. Oh, oh, I think it'll be wild before we can sit out. As long as she's there anyway. Hmm? That Yoke and the Jewel knows what's going on, because we only want, only want, always want to compare our strength to that of the strong people we meet. So why the heck are you bringing about those things? Seems like a crutch. Anyway, though. Mysterious ring. <laughs> Hell's wheel of pain. Ach, dang it! I'm gonna restart quickly. I've lost too many lives. I won't make it that far. Fast forward for a moment. Alright, bring it on once again. Beat of strength, storm of mounts, oi! Big four arcane arcanum knockout in three steps. <sighs> I do not like having to deal with you. Well done. If that power powerful, you'll have no problem with the house of the Earth Spirits. What's your Noni? Uh, yeah? We cast aside the above ground world and moved here. Long ago, this was Hell's shopping district, but now the Yamas have made off with Hell, so... Now it's just a forgotten prison for evil spirits. Well, that's an old story. I'm sure humans don't remember anymore. I wouldn't have thought you Oni would break your promise. Now take her to the palace of the Earth Spirits. You could, uh, you're not hiding something, are you? Oh, the tea at the shrine wasn't very good. Don't drink it all while I'm gone. To Satori! And oh yeah, also kind Beal. Or or then Kind Beal in. Or Odin. 
You know, whatever floats your boat. You know, the annoying one with all the ghost fairies. I know that we took that only other word and just came to the same mansion, but I don't see anyone who looks like they'd be in charge. There was that cat, though. Hmm. We should have had that cat take us to its master. I wish we could have finished off that cat. I might have been attracted by the smell of dead bodies. The visitors. How unusual. I see my pet cat. That must have caused you some trouble. Finally, someone that looks like a yokai. There's a lot I want to ask you. You don't have to tell me that. A strange geyser near a shrine. Oh, I think that would be fine, too. Think you're thirsty? Why don't I put out some tea? Huh? Why are you talking to yourself about... I've been hot for some reason for a while, so yes, I'm thirsty. But if you're talking about making tea, are you a servant or what? Oh, excuse me. The girl in the Ventral Spirit Sphere. Satori Komeiji. The, I'm Satori, the master of the Palace of the Earth Spirits. There's nothing that's hidden from me. That's because I can hear everything you're thinking. What? I guess we don't need to talk then. Some tea would be nice. Right away, please. But Amy, I told you before, didn't I? You should beat any Oki you encounter underground right away. Oh, well, I still don't know anything about the evil spirits. Who are you talking to? I see. A yokai that's above ground. I knew it. Above ground is too far away, so I can't read her heart. I wonder if you're the one who's, who could stop that dreadful geyser. A geyser? Hmm, a geyser. I wonder if one of my pets did something they should have, have again. Pet? Oh, like that cat? But it seems that human doesn't mind if the geyser stays. They move, you should really should get around- You really sh You should really get around to taking care of her. Hmm, I guess. Yeah, she's thinking being down here is a pain, so I'll just beat everyone and go home. Exactly. We don't need really need to talk, do we? The geyser was probably caused by one of my pets, or one of the spirits in this mansion. I don't mind looking into it, but you don't seem to be of a mind to settle this peacefully. Of course not. Who would take a yoke at their word? But you trusted that Oni, and you're relying on that yokai from above. I know everything you remember about that yokai too. Now arm your heart and do battle against your own feelings. It looks like a brain scan thingy. Ever noticed that? Recollection, terrible souvenir. Now this is where it really begins. Go and sleep with the trauma so frightful it'll wake you up. Recollection, double black death butterfly. What the, what I run into? Recollection, flying insects nest. Recollection, border of wave and part and particle. I 
I could have gotten hit there. Ah, and I was. Great. Jeez, just go down. Oh my, well you didn't manage to come this deep underground. Hmm, those Donmaku look, look awfully familiar. Of course they're Donmaku that's uh, in your heart, I just imitate them. In any case, why don't you tell Reimu about what's in your heart now? Hmm, how to solve the guys or was it? You should talk to my pet then. I mean the cat? I think we met before. The cat isn't that powerful, I have lots of pets here. In this courtyard of this mansion, there's a hole that leads to the deepest part of the underground. She should be there. Eh? If she's a pet, why not just call her? My pet has been avoiding me lately. I wonder if it's because of my power. I don't think anyone likes her. Not just her pets, maybe we would get to finish their sentences. I do know of a way to get to beat this part, or at least beat this part up until the uh, until Kindeal. The first part is just don't attack these things, and now I can attack. Ah, come on! Well, no more lives remain. What's funny about that is I can beat this without a scratch, really, on easy mode. Cat sign, cat's walk. That does look like a catwalk. Oh my. A little close for comfort. What the? Fast forward. May I just say that Yama Yamame Kuro Dani got a really big glow up in like fossil, whatever.
Oh, it's so hot. I wish I had worn winter clothes. Those are winter clothes? I wouldn't have imagined such a hellish place would be under their courtyard. A cat? I think that cat's been following me from the past. How creepy. Do you have any catnip? Ta-da! Looks like you're having fun, sis. Mind if I join ya? Ah, the cat turned into a cat! I mean the cat turned into a cat wheelbarrow? It's more fun being a cat. Hell's traffic accident. <laughs> Odin. But I can't really talk like that. Besides, it looked like I was gonna lose lose to ya, so I had to change back. Are you the pet of Satori was talking about? I think she said it wasn't the cat. I was watching and listening to a master's gallantry in your plot. You wanna stop the geyser? You better not. She's really dangerous, you know. She's the most dangerous bird underground. There's no way we can turn back now, even if you're a dangerous cat. Hmm, I wonder what who, where our cat went up to. It's such a pain when she suddenly disappears like that. Or we should take care to pro to program your own familiar properly without any bugs. Well, we're gonna go up against that dangerous bird, but you gotta fight me first. We should talk to the end there. Perfect. I think we already fought you a few times as a cat, though. If I kill you, human, my hellfire card will get heavy. Man, carrying off corpses is fun. Bring it on, Kainbyo. Kainbyo. Odin. Is it Kanbyo or Kanbyoru? Cursed sp Sprite. Zombie fairies. Fairies can't be zombies. Anyway, though. Full lives. Malicious spirit, spleen eater. Yoink. And yoink. Odin. Weird cat with a wheelbarrow. Barrel, barrel. You're just a weird cat. Who <laughs> many, especially on normal mode, I haven't been able to get past you. Then again, apparently you're very difficult for many people, so I'm not alone there. It's all because of those fairies. Why the heck do you have hell fairy? Why the heck do you have the hell fairies with you? Are those hell fairies? Who knows? Anyways, atonement, needle mountain of the former hell. Rekindling of dead ashes. That's Dark Souls! Good job! Wouldn't, wouldn't have thought I'd lose to a human. Oh, it's so hot, I can't stand it. I just wanted to be done with it. Hey sis, I bet you can beat her for me. I'll be waiting for you. What a weird feeling. It looks like there's only one road up ahead. All we can do is go forward. I wonder what the pet down that road will be like. She's one of Miss Satori's pets, just like me, but she's got a really powerful lately. She's like, it's like she can do anything, so nobody can really take care of her. We animals get really powerful when we live long. We get powerful by swallowing up ghosts and evil spirits. But she's, I wonder where she found it. Hard to believe she swallowed up the power of the gods. Did you hear that? Yeah, I wonder if it's okay to eat gods like that. Temp tempestuous second sun. Let's roll. Have we died? I don't think we died on this one. Let's not jinx it. I wonder if we get an another ending for not dying. Well, like I said, don't jinx it.
Look who jinxed it. Oh yeah, I forgot something. Hmm? If you die at the bottom of the hell, hell hereabouts, you'll burn. So hard, I'll better take you down from here. Yokai, blazing wheel. Is there even a bad ending in Subterranean Animism? Okay, anyway. I'm not sure if there is. I mean, there might be. Either way, though. Hmm? Can't take anymore. I'm going to be burned to death before you ever find that bird. I'm turning into a fried shrine maiden here. Don't worry, I'm sure we're about to find her. I have no idea what makes you say that, but I think you're right. I finally found you. You're the weird person from above everyone's been talking about, right? I heard you were coming to find me, but I couldn't find you anywhere. Huh, speak of the devil, eh? I guess my intuition's as good as ever. You're trying to stop the geyser, right? Uh, right. Though I wouldn't mind if the geyser stayed and those only those spirits went away. You came all the way down here from above ground, so I hate to tell you this, but the geyser won't stop. It's far too late for that. What did you say? The guys are just a hole to let the excess part of my ultimate power escape. I've already obtained the ultimate power, scorching troublesome divine flame, Utsuho Ryuji. Every time I use it, the guys gushes forth, so I can't stop it. The ultimate power, the guys happens every time, does that mean it's the power of a tea kettle? Maybe you should be able to see it. Which god did that bird eat up? Mm, that kind of, the kind of can draw a hot bath? Who knows? Anyways, we came all this way, so if we can just, just beat her, the guys should stop. Haha, <laughs> I guess it comes to that after all. Once I beat you, I'm going to go above ground to test out this power of mine. Haha, <laughs> that pathetic place will be reborn as a new blazing hell. Hmm, it's a good thing you ran into me before you went up there. You'll be beaten, be up, you'll be beaten by the power of the ultimate shrine minute, which will stop your invest your invasion plans. Lord Yatagarasu, the Blacksmith, thank you for giving me your power. The sunlight that rains down on the earth is a nuclear furnace that will create new atoms. My ultimate nuclear fusion will burn up every body, heart, ghost, and fairy. Jeez. I don't. It's not. Have has there been another game where, like, the main. Instant causer. Oh, it's atomic fire. Nuclear fusion. The, the main, like, instant causer was literally just going to try to cause, like, an end of the world scenario. You know, rather than something petty. You got the Scarlets, who brought forth a mist. I mean, I guess there was also, a. Uh, Yuyuko who tried to take spring, but that wasn't really world ending. And the red mist, I mean, it was just so that she could go outside. And then... You had Ibuki who was just trying to make more feasts. You had, uh... Then... And number nine wasn't really anything. Number 10 was just somebody trying to get more faith. Then you have this. No, then you have the next one, which was, uh... Ah, Tenchi, who was really just trying to cause an earthquake, just cause something to happen. I don't think she had any intentions to really destroy the land. Then there was... Yeah, and then we go to now, which is the Ryu, which is Utsuho, which is who's literally just trying to destroy the world. And yeah, UFO was just someone someone being brought back. Same with TD. Okay, I guess there was. A, well, I mean, the uprising wouldn't have caused anything. It just Seiya was just yeah, she was just. Trying to start a revolution. That wouldn't be world ending. Or like intentionally world ending. Yeah, I, I think I think Utsuho's the only one who's being who intentionally tried to 
who intentionally went to went about trying to destroy place. Anyways, what? All because she's a dumb bird. Hell and heaven meltdown. Artificial sun. Time to get pulled. New high score! The Hakade Shrine. A shrine at the Eastern Virginia's group against the little bit. The shrine grounds were completely covered in snow. They had probably piled up while its might while its maiden was underground. Shoveling snow, shoveling more and more snow. I'm I've to I have to open up a walkway. The New Year's soon, so we might even get some visitors. We should get some visitors for New Year's. Even with all this snow. Hmm, that crow underground swallowed the power of yet I got asked to. We could probably get a lot of believers with that kind of power. I think the god here would like some sort of easily understandable power. Hello! What? You're creeping me out. I caught a cat. Meat-eating monsters don't taste good. Oh, don't you remember this cat? Hmm? Oh, is that? Yes, it's the cat you found in the, in the hell of blazing fires. But why? But wait, you Kenny, did you go underground? I found it around the geyser. Do you know what that means? No idea. Oh, you're so dense. The geyser erupted that... The geyser erupted because that crow went mad. But whose fault does that make the evil spirits? Was it that cat? That's right, it's definitely the cat's. Huh. You're always saying things out of the blue. I don't really get it, but I just have to beat her, right? That's right. By the way, Reimu, how are you going to beat her? Hmm, she wouldn't be very tasty. See, that's why you don't get any visitors. Why not try to keep her around just trying to draw in people? Hmm, they say a group of people is more likely to come back. The cat you could be caught by the geyser, Odin, stayed at the shrine where Reimu could also keep an eye on her. Of course, she was still Satori's pet, so it really just meant she got fed when she came to the shrine. Odin had sent the spirits up with the geyser as a warning to above the ground about her friend, the Hellcrow. Reimu and Yukari understood she meant no harm, so they didn't punish her. However, shortly after Odin started coming above ground, there were several incidents where people's dead bodies disappeared. So needless to say, rumors spread in the village about the Kasha near the shrine. The Hellcat. Garage is all clear, just as I expected. How fun. Well, I don't have the bonus, the, the Koishi, so I can't exactly do much there. But I hope you all enjoyed. If you'd like it once more, we'll be playing more of the Toho Project for next week. And I hope to see you guys Saturday. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.